time for a fun segment. All right, thanks, Anna. Well, with summer coming to an end, what can you do to savor all those great moments, all those digital photos that you took on your phone? Don't let them stay on the phone forever. With some must-try apps to amp up your summer photos, a social media expert and CEO of Ruby Media, Chris Ruby. Nice to see you this morning, nice Chris. All right, so first of all, how do we get some of these photos off our phone? I mean, if you have an iPhone, right? You have Apple's iOS Photos app, so it's all stored in the cloud. If you've got a Google or an Android phone, Google's Photos stored in the cloud. But what if you don't have either of those? What can you use? So if you don't have either of them, I definitely recommend using Dropbox. It's the easiest thing that you can use as a good alternative. And it's basically a cloud um, storing device for all of your photos. You just download it onto your, you create an account, download it, put it on your phone, and then create separate folders, and then it will sync straight to your computer. Just make sure you upload your photos over Wi-Fi or you're going to eat up all your data. Yes. <laughs> you have AT&T call and you're saying, whoa, what's going on here? All right, but now what about the photos that you took that look like they were taken like in a dark room and not very well lit? For instance, you gra how can we snazz some of these up? You took one of my photos and snazzed it up a little bit. I did. I had a lot of fun. Uh, snazzing up your photos here. So, um, for this first one, I used Instagram, and and let me just start out by saying there's so many different apps. I'm, I I broke it down to the top three to use here. So this is Instagram. The first thing I did is I sized it. Um, I I cropped it down a bit. Um, I then fixed. I made it brighter. Um, I increased the contrast. I decreased the warmth. And this was all using Instagram's app. They have all yeah. the built-in filters right in there. And I sharpened the pic so you could see the claws more. So, right, in the crab house <laughs> in Rehoboth Beach, you can see what I'm actually eating there. Yeah, and, and you stuff. still want it to look pretty natural. And that's what's great about using the Instagram um, features in, in, in itself. And plus, you get to see some of my uh, 5 o'clock shadow that I heard, too, <laughs> which is good. All right, what's next? We have uh, Camera Plus. Tell us about this app. I love this. Camera Plus is one of my old school. Fa love this photo. By the way. So this is my little boy in a river. So cute. Camera Plus is really, really great because it's one of the old school favorites, and it's really good if you're not sure how to, if you just want to get your feet wet and all of this. Holy smokes! So, yeah. Um, it's great for brightening up the pictures and using their preset filters. I know you know some people don't like preset filters. For this, I love it. Um, so I did the auto filter on it. I did the lo-fi filter, and then what I really liked is I used the depth of field filter, so you can see it has a nice vignette around the side of it. All right. So this blurs out around yeah. the side of it. And it draws your attention into the center of the photo. Nice. All right, here's another one from one of our camping trips. Uh, you've been busy at work on our, our family photo album. I appreciate oh, yeah. it. So, this was our kids around the campfire. We got some bacon on the fire at breakfast, and there's my son and daughter. So, this is kind of washed out with the smoke. How did you fix this one? So, for this one, I used Afterlight. Um, and what I did is I made the colors pop with Afterlight. I tried to clarify the picture, so I made it a little sharper. Um, I fixed the brightness. For this one, I actually made it darker, and then I increased the contrast. So that's how I got it to pop. Um, and then I increased the temperature of the photo, and then I added a white border. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the border on there, but no, I did. Can't. But yeah, <laughs> there you go. So, all right, so let me go over those three again. So, Instagram has all those built in filters in there, of course. Camera Plus is a, one of the great camera apps, yes. and Afterlight is the one you fixed on here. Yes. Chris, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for fixing my family photo. I'll send you more to fix later this afternoon. Please do. Thanks.